everybody welcome back to another video as you all can see by the title and the background today I'm sharing with you guys a Sephora haul today is the very first day of the Sephora savings event today is November the 5th and the sale goes until November the 11th if you are like me and you are VIB then you're getting 15% off if you're a beauty insider you are getting 10% off we are all getting 30% off of the Sephora collection and the sale ends on on November the 11th I did a same-day delivery because I did want to be able to go ahead and get my items sit down film the video edit and get it up for you guys tomorrow that way I can share my haul with you and if you see anything that you like you have the opportunity to get it while the sale is still going now this was my first time utilizing the same day delivery option I did enjoy it I actually signed up for a 30-day trial when I went to place my order this morning um it's $49 annually I don't order from Sephora too terribly much but I do kind of think it's worth it for those times when like this where I really wanted to go ahead and get my things now and I didn't want to have to wait and I didn't want to be running around because today is also election day I didn't want to be running around I was an early voter so I didn't have those problems you know um so I have just really been big chilling all day the kids are out of school today so um definitely the perfect opportunity to sit down and film the haul for you guys so I'm gonna share with you guys what I got the only thing I'm missing is my Cotoly beauty mist what is it the grape water um it got canceled in my order and i you know let them continue to, of course to, to deliver it um and i just placed it at another location so it's still on the same day delivery so it may get here at some point today but it just didn't show up with these items these all i ordered my stuff at like 6 30 this morning and everything showed up here by 2 p.m so um definitely enjoy the same day delivery i had one small gripe but i don't really think it's the same day delivery gripe i just felt like why did y'all load all this stuff in this tiny ass bag like could i not just get a bigger bag but i digress it's probably just me being picky but um definitely enjoyed the same day service so if you haven't tried it i highly recommend it um but i'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys what i picked up like i said i did also swap out one item so i was going to get the armani lip duo set but i to be honest and fair i have one in my purse and i still have a backup i really did not need to get another set you know and even without the 15 percent, it's only 45 dollars. so if i find that i want it uh before the season is over i'll just pick it up but i saw something else that i would rather have that's like new to me so i'll share that with y'all but i'm gonna stop rambling because y'all know your girl can talk and i'm gonna jump right into the haul all right so here is the first bag um like I said, I just felt like, why did y'all have to stuff all these things in this bag like this? It came like, of course, you know, attached with the little sticker, but I just felt like, please just put it in a bigger bag. I don't understand, but I digress. Anyways, the first thing that I picked up was this Danessa Myricks blush set. It's called the Forever Flushed set it's by Danessa Myricks Beauty it was $35 a $75 value I wanted this because you guys know I want to try the yummy blur bomb which is in here um but I felt like well let me try some of the blushes too and this was just such a great value that I couldn't pass it up you get two full-size blushes and then you get two like mini ones and this technology and just everything I've heard about this brand I'm excited so what drew me in was this blush called Dancing Queen it's what it looks like in the packaging and then open it up for you guys look at that y'all know I'm a sucker for a berry toned blush this is a cream to powder formulation and y'all know I've been saying this but I just feel like when it comes to complexion products sticking with brands that cater to women of color is what's best for me I have just noticed um trying to kind of go the 
what's what's the word I'm looking for the the normal route the neutral route going with the Too Faced the Max the the Dior I love Dior but it just is something about the undertone as of lately I say in the last three years it's just not working for me and once I discovered Ami Colet I have just gone down a full rabbit hole of how many women of color owned businesses and you know complexion brands can I find that are going to cater to my skin tone so that I'm not spending my money in, in trial and error you know um this is the second full coverage or I'm sorry full size Woo, let's get it to focus this is the second full size blush this one is in spiced latte when I tell you this is gorgeous oh my goodness when I tell you that is going to pop on the cheeks I cannot wait so I'll definitely be keeping you guys posted on how I like the Danessa Myricks products and then apparently one of these the spice latte is a limited edition shade and this red velvet you get two small ones this is a limited edition shade as well and this is called jubilee and this is pretty too it's like a terracotta color i like this so i will definitely keep you guys posted on the danessa myricks blushes but i was definitely excited to get the opportunity to try them in this uh quad set for only $35 with an additional discount applies. So I thought that was just a value I could not pass up. So I did get the blush set. And then the next thing I got is something that I said I wasn't gonna get when I shared with you guys my recommendations and what was in my cart, but I had to get it. So I told y'all that I was just gonna use my Lancome moisturizer. I'm not gonna repurchase this moisturizer. I had to. I was going through and looking and this came up like at the top in the little recommendations area you know where you kind of just scroll to the left and it shows you maybe six items that they recommend this is the belief aqua bomb home and away set it comes with the belief moisturizer that I have been raving about um, you get the full size and you get the travel size this was the thing the full size is $38 and this set was 40 and I'm already getting 15% off. Throw it in my cart, ma'am. Had to have it. So I was excited to um, pick this up. Like I said in my mind when I ordered it, if I don't use my long comb one, I can always give it to my mom. <laughs> that's the beauty in having a mom that's into these things as well is if I feel like, hey, I got a whole full size product that I'm just not going to use. And then this is what the the travel size is actually pretty big. Um, but yeah, I could just give it to my mom. If I'm being honest, it's not going to go to waste for sure. So I just have really preferred this moisturizer. I've really enjoyed it. Um, it's getting up there in like holy grail status, kind of like with my Clarence Double Serum, just because of how my skin feels when I, after I've used it. So moisturized, I don't feel chapped or chafed or anything like that after using it. And I feel like my skin just has a really nice glow every single morning. Cause I use it at this point, I'm using it like every morning. I That one in my bathroom is literally on its last leg. So went ahead and ordered that. And then I picked up the, I told you guys I was gonna get this. This is the Lancome Nutrix Royale Body Cream. I have heard so many good things about this, so I definitely want to try it. I'm probably gonna try it tonight. Ooh, this is a very clean scent. Ooh, you guys know I just got my Osea Discovery set with the oil, um, and I just needed a backup of a more luxurious cream. And I've tried the Osea cream, I've tried the L'Occitane uh, cream, and I just kept hearing about this and decided I would try something different. So this is something I will keep you guys posted on as well. But I do like the scent. It's very like light, but fresh. Um, definitely something you would want to smell like getting out of the shower. And then last in this baggie is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir Prep and Glow Set. So the Beauty Elixir is $49 by itself. 
this whole set was $49. So when I clicked on this set, this set came up. I took this one, just the sole one by itself out of my cart and I put this in because I'm like, they're the same price. You might as well get the little travel options as well. Like I said, next year we do plan to do a few more things where we may be out of town doing things where I'm not home, travel, stuff like that. And I don't like to bring the stuff that I use in the house with me. I love little travel items. That way if I leave it, I don't feel bad. It's not part of my normal routine. And now I gotta spend $45 on another whatever. You know what I mean? Um, so to get two travel products was nice. This is their Vino Point Brightening Dark Spot Serum here, a little travel size. And then this is their um, Instant Detox Mask. It's supposed to tighten pores and remove excess oil. So keep you posted on these. We already know I love this and this was a really good value. I'll actually try to leave it below if this is something that you guys like but you wanna get more bang for your buck. And then in this little baggie, I don't know how they fit all this in here. I picked up, y'all, I'm kind of addicted. Um, I picked up another Touchland hand sanitizer. Now y'all said it and I was fighting y'all tooth and nail. This is the Velvet Peach. I was fighting y'all tooth and nail because I was like, I like my little Nishinku refillable. It doesn't bother me none and it fits in even the tiniest purses that I have because it's so thin and I was a rebel on this because it's so bulky. However, I have been enjoying carrying the salted caramel one in my purse um, and to get an additional 15% off, I said, let me just throw another one in my cart. That one's probably going to go in like my gym bag or something. I actually like it. So I appreciate you all and your recommendation because I actually do like that hand sanitizer and I do feel like even though it's not refillable, it is worth it. The next item is the Belief Aqua Bomb Eye Gel. Um, I've been saying I wanted to try this. It has a, I'm not gonna open it up right now cause I'm not gonna be using this right off the bat. I'm actually waiting on it to get a little cooler and for me to finish a few more um, eye creams cause I'm still using two right now. But this is, it has like, I think it's a ceramic tip, but it's a cooling effect. It visibly depuffs, has caffeine and vitamin C. Um, and the reviews have been really, really good on this. So eager to see if I'm going to like it. Um, let me see if I could at least show you what the packaging looks like. I, I keep showing y'all the box. Like, girl, show me the actual, there we go. Um, so this is what it looks like outside of the box. I'm not gonna pull the applicator off cause you know, then we start the whole expiration process, but it's very weighty and hefty. And I think it's gonna, you know, feel comfortable um, applying the eye product. So when I do try this out, I'll let you guys know. And then I picked up the Danessa Myricks Yummy Blur Balm. I cannot wait to try this. This is supposed to be, I got the shade 8.5. This is supposed to be a like cream to powder formulation. When I tell you, y'all know, some of us have been DMing about this product um, because a few of you guys, I had to get your recommendation on color, but it says it's, supposed to smooth and blur any textured areas. Um, it says a texture reducing, coverage boosting, blurring balm to powder that balances oils throughout the day while maintaining hydration. Powered by cutting edge, blurring Swedish technology called Upsolite, visually creates a soft focus effect on pores and fine lines, y'all. When I tell y'all I'm ready, I'm ready to try this. Y'all know I don't really get hyped up about products. I'm a creature of habit. So when I come across something that's got me like, oh, I'm thirsty, I'm ready to try it out. So I will definitely be trying this. Clarence and I are actually, we have a date Saturday. We're going on like a little day date. So I'm going to be using it then. I don't foresee myself wearing makeup after today, to be honest, because I just, my day to day life doesn't require it. But when I put this on, when I use these two products together, I will definitely share it with you. Um, let me see. Sorry, y'all. It's actually too hard to open, so we're not going to do that. When I wear it, I will let you guys know. But 
that's that. Then another newbie was the EDM Lip Glaze La Choo Choo, La Cuckoo. I don't know. <laughs> it's their lip softening balm. Um, this is what the packaging looks like and that's what it says on the side. I got the shade Bissop Glaze. Let's see. And this is um, owned by a woman of color too as far as the brand. Uh, founders are an African-American woman and an Asian woman. Um, yeah, cannot wait to try this lip balm. The shade is, like I said, Bissop Glaze, but it's like a berry tone. Y'all know I'm a berry tone girl. This is another newer product. I will keep you guys posted. Everything I'm talking about, though, I'll make sure I leave it linked below. These were $27, $28 or something. I can't remember, but the 15% off was worth me trying them. Um, someone said these are better than the Summer Fridays, and I'll be honest, I'm not super impressed by the Summer Fridays. I finished one up, and I had already bought another one because I thought I was going to love them. I don't really love them like that, so I probably won't be repurchasing them after I finish up this tube that I have. So if I can find something else that I like, I'm excited. So I'll definitely keep you guys posted on this lip gloss as well. And then the last two items were just repurchases. I did not repurchase my Amicole skin tint because I still have some left and I knew I wanted the Danessa Myricks. But I did purchase the Amicole skin enhancing concealer in the shade Deep too because at this point this is like a holy grail concealer for me i always 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 use it and that's the shade here we go sorry and then i also picked up another lip oil because i love this shade excellence I keep it in my bathroom at all times. If I want to put on a gloss before bed, this is the gloss that I put on before I go to sleep. It just doesn't bother me in my sleep. And um, I wake up and it's not like sticky and stuff. So it, I just love the shade. Um, if you're a, a girl with like darker colored lips, this is one of the better, um, my lips, but better shades on us. And this is the shade, like I said, Excellence. So I did pick up a backup of both of my favorite Omi Cole products. Except, like I said, for the skin tint because I'm doing pretty good on that. And I know that this, I feel like I have a good feeling about it, you know? So we'll see, but yeah. These are all the pickups that I got. Like I said, I have that one more item from Caudalie that hopefully will get here today. I'll check my text messages to see if the other store didn't cancel as well. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. If there's anything that you want me to elaborate on, you guys know you can always DM me on Instagram or you can always leave a question or comment in the comments below and I will always get back to you. As always, if you're an oldie but goodie, thank you so much for coming back and joining me. And if you're new, don't forget to hit the subscription button on your way out. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.